So, uh, the new cast of the new Ghostbusters movie went on Jimmy Kimmel. And I saw this clip that I need to talk about. So, I'm going to play right now and I'm going to talk about everything they say. I made a video on Facebook about this shit. I made a post about it. That I'm not going to watch the new movie. I'm sick and fucking tired of people either involved with the film or good friends with the film saying, oh, anyone who criticizes us are sexist, they're idiots, and th you know. If you got anything negative to say, uh, you don't matter, pretty much. And the whole sexist thing, they're using this as a shield to, uh, to uh, not listen to criticism. But let's listen to this short little clip of this interview. A lot of these guys, these who... Terrific fellas! Yeah, who seem to have, I don't know, maybe very empty lives, are upset. Yeah, everyone who criticizes have empty lives. And they're all men. There's no women who, who have criticized uh, this new movie. Because they say, oh, well, we can't have female Ghostbusters because only men can fight imaginary ghosts. That's a loud minority. That's not the main uh, criticism of this new movie after the trailers. They look fucking terrible. They pointed out the CGI looks bad, the jokes are not funny. It's a rehash of the original. Yeah, you guys are talking about sexism. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then what, what they don't say when they're typing is that like one minute after they type that their mom's like get up the stairs and take out the garbage you're, you're 45 years old hear that everyone who says crap about this movie is 45 and they live with their moms generalization much fucking stupid Wow. Do you guys even... Jimmy Kimmel, do you even read fucking comments on act, in the actual uh, trailers? Seriously, dude. Like, very little sexist comments. You'll find them, yes. But the majority is not fucking that shit. <sighs> but I will say this. Certainly, mm -hmm. Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, and Ernie Hudson, these guys gave you the ultimate endorsement by being a part of the film. Of and who yeah. gives a crap about anybody else at that point, really, right? Okay, okay, okay. Hold, hold, hold the fuck on. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, whether you want to believe that the old cast members living, the, the living ones who endorsed this uh, reboot are doing it straight from the heart, if you want to believe that, that's fucking fine. I think it's fucking this, okay? Money speaks, Okay. Because a lot of those guys need the money. Of course they're going to say, yes, this is good. But they're not selling this new movie to the old cast. They're selling it to the people. That's what, that's what you're supposed to do. You're selling that to the people. And the people are saying, fuck this shit. We don't like it. It doesn't look good to us. The majority have said that. Loudly. Without saying, mostly without saying, oh, it's women, you know. That's the whole fucking point. You have to sell your movie to the people and you're saying, oh, who gives a crap what they think? They're the fucking consumer. Fuck's sake. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I am Jimmy Kimmel. If you like yeah, that. Shut the fuck up, dude. I mean, seriously. Who? What logic is is the shit to say oh fuck the consumer what they have to say that's what that's what you're selling to you fucking dipshits god fucking damn it you fucking idiots don't even know how to sell a goddamn movie god this movie's gonna bomb so bad now and you fucking you fucking deserve it. you're shooting yourselves in the foot at this point more than that
Putting your foot in your mouth, shooting yourself in the foot, whatever. <sighs> All because you can't take negative comments. Fuck ridiculous. Alright, that's all. That's all. I'm fucking done. Adios. Thanks for watching.